How you guys doing? Chris Signato here. You're watching Nature Now. So I've decided since it's really hot lately that I'm going to publish a video I filmed back in the spring and it's a bit of a challenge video I created for myself. It's to see how many amphibians I can find in less than an hour and a half. Check it out. So this is a simple video and I've been planning on doing this for about three years now. And what I want to do is set out to see how many amphibians I can find in less than two hours in March. So, uh, let's get started, and I'm going to try to be really quick about each thing. I'm not going to talk much about them. Let's hit the trail. Okay, I've got a wood frog. Right here. I've got two spring peepers in Amplexus. As you can tell, there are spring peepers all around me. Just so finding these guys is not hard. There are two more spring peepers. These guys are all partnering up. Look at all that algae connected to my hand. I'm seeing the egg masses of spotted salamanders all around. Lots of them. I'm being very careful not to step anywhere near those spots. So this is taking a lot of time to make sure I don't harm anything. Now, I don't have a watch. The best thing I have is a timestamp on my camera and the camera's internal clock. That's how I'm keeping track of this. I left my phone in the car because a couple days ago I had it in pocket and when I bent over to look at something, it fell out. And if I was out in this wetlands when that happened, my phone would have been done. So I didn't even want to chance that today. Plus, I don't want to get interrupted. They are all over the place. Just tons of egg clutches of multiple species of amphibian. Tons of wood frog eggs. Just tons of them. Those look like the spermatophores of the male spotted salamanders. So far I'm having trouble. I can't find any spotted salamanders. I found the spring peepers. I found the wood frogs. I found a lot of their eggs, but I've been here for about half an hour so far. Hey, here's a northern redback. This is the lead phase. Oops, sorry. I gotta put this back carefully, so carefully. Check out this pregnant, gravid redback salamander. That is weird looking. So as I suspected, these spotted salamanders are moving further up into the woodlands now because they've already deposited their eggs. And now they're going back to their normal living quarters, which is in the woodlands, often underground and under logs and even inside them. There we go. Here we've got a spotted salamander with a clutch of eggs. Interesting. This is the second time I've seen them do that under a log. Very interesting. Awesome. So I found a spotted salamander. Um, I found eggs of all of them. I found a wood frog, the spring peeper, northern redback. Now I have to find northern dusky and the two line salamander and I I'll have to hit the creek for them. But uh, as I always stress, you've got to be extremely careful replacing the logs and things not to harm the creatures underneath. Usually you put the log back and then put the creature beside it so they could go under. In this case, I did something different. But uh, okay, let's get going. I've got 53 minutes left, I think.
That's a couple of cool clutches. So I have finally one spotted salamander. I can't find any other so far, but I can't spend long because I still got to look for two line salamanders and northern duskies. Okay, so I'm at the creek now. It took me about 12 minutes to walk here because of my back. And then I spent about eight minutes taking photographs, which I shouldn't have. So I've only got a little over 20 minutes to keep this under an hour and a half search time. But I only have two species left to find and I'm sure I can do it. Northern two line. Well, I just lost that northern two line to try to rinse them off. He just went right down into the creek and, and took off. So I gotta replace this rock, try to find another one. And there we have a nice northern two-line salamander. Northern dusky. Oh, these guys are so hard to catch. Little northern dusky right here. That big one got away, but I gotta try to catch another one. Here's a young northern dusky, and you can tell by those little spots on its side. But I gotta turn this one loose. These little ones shouldn't be out of the water, really. Not for long. Okay, I better let this little one go. These things are so hard to catch, though. Let me tell you. Look at those beautiful markings along the back. You don't usually see that, but not around here. Now I found two others that are about twice as heavy as this one, but they just got right out of my hands and surrendered to the current and I never saw them again. Very difficult creature. Very difficult salamander to uh, photograph and film. So there you go. Um, I finished actually before 2 o'clock. It's 2.05 now. Um, and I found all of them. That dusky salamander was so tricky. I had to chase them downstream. They're always like that. But I found redback salamanders, spring peepers, wood frogs, uh, spotted salamander, northern two line salamanders, and dusky salamander. And if this was a couple days ago when it was warmer, I would have found green frogs too, but not today. Uh, not in this stretch. So, well, there you go. What was it? Seven? Please hang up and try again. Eight species I found in less than an hour and a half. And that last one, the dusky salamander, I knew would be there, but it was proven to be a little bit tricky. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and maybe you should come up with some challenge videos yourself, or perhaps even the same video, and upload it to YouTube, and, you know, include the link in the comments section below. I'd love to see your video. It's a lot of fun doing these challenge videos. So thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignano, signing out.